Hi, this is Nick at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Today we've got an outdoor project uh, that uh, was done with no sphere targets or checkerboard targets. And uh, we have the entire project mostly put together. As you can see, we've got a cluster and then we've got uh, right here, it shows a second cluster. But what we're really looking at, if we go into our Explore tab, is a good cluster and uh, an an extra scan here that did not get into the cluster. So we do not have a green scan manager. It is not fully registered correctly. Uh, there's a few different things that we can do. Uh, if we take a look at this entire project, including the cluster and the extra scan in correspondence view, uh, you can see that uh, the scan is located somewhere in here. It may or may not be correct. Uh, we have tried to go ahead and do an update scans with top view and that has not worked. So we're going to go in and uh, jump to the registration tab at the top. And once in here, we have a manual registration option. If you go to this tab here, you can do another automatic registration, manual or visual. Uh, at this point, we're going to do a manual registration uh, tab here. Start with manual registration. Now here's the key. We have the uh, scan that's outstanding that's not included is number four. So we'll choose number four, but over here we've got a cluster and this cluster has got a tremendous number of scans in it. So we want to make sure that we're grabbing a scan that's near to it. We don't want to grab, you know, uh, scan 14 or 13 uh, so we can see here as we scroll down we have options for all these different scans so in this case we'll go ahead and get scan right next so we'll go with scan number three since over here this is scan number four and we hope that these two will be close to each other so we can find some uh, some matches of some uh, geography up to the right hand corner mark targets and as we open this you're going to see the two scans in the same screen and as we look at each of these scans, what we're doing is we're trying to find something that's common in both views. So uh, if we take a look, keep spinning each scan around. It may or may not be scan number three that gives us what we're looking for. Now, as we can see here, we've got a ladder, and then in this scan, we've got a ladder as well. This could be the angle we're looking for. We've got an electrical box, an electrical box, tank to the side. Looks as though this is exactly what we're trying to find here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go off of where that ladder is, and we can uh, choose this plane next to it here. as we continue to add planes they will then correlate to each other so we've got a plane down here you can see the edge of it here to the right we can get it to grab there we go there's also a plane down here underneath this motor we can take us we can see it here actually pick two planes off of that we'll grab the top of it as well there once we've got enough planes you can see where it will automatically identify them and uh, maybe just a few more and we should be we should be good to go we'll grab the top of this corner here correlate that over there looks as though we've got a slab over here that's going to be a nice place now that should be enough to put this together up in the right hand corner we choose register and verify and as this builds up we should see the scan drop right into place with the cluster.
And as this point cloud builds up, we can see that it looks like it's dropped it correctly. We'll say yes, and then we will go ahead and optimize our with cloud to cloud. Once our verification is done, once again, our scans look like they're in the proper location. Scan number four stuck where it was supposed to. And we can say yes, finish. Now we've seen that our scan has actually been included into the uh, cluster that was created. And if we jump into uh, the regular Explore tab, we can go ahead and see that we've got a full green light on our registration now all scans included uh, scan results you can see each location each scan location and our mean is 1.6 millimeters which is uh, which is very good I hope this helps you guys when you run into an issue with maybe a scan that's an outlier and uh, let us know if there's anything we might be able to help you with specifically good luck